if you have a like you have a geo server is exposing the services like wms wfs or wm wcs then we have the, the same format to handle those those service call wms call wfs call and w if you have the like wkt well known well known text format and even though there's a format wkt a format you can all the possibilities xml format you have all type of geometry circles you have line string line string multi line string multi points multi polygon polygons and all the simple geometries and then you have the, even though you have a complex geometric handling works so you have a drop box a drag and drops and zoom in zoom out functionality all things is there so just you need to be uh, implement what uh, requirement you have it or what do you need to to implement the the, the projects so you have a layers and the apis and you have a group apis that i already did the use of this and vector apis vector image vector tiles and this is the maps libraries and map events and this is the overlay apis they go to overlay it has a lot of possibility a lot of functionality so you get the ids of the overlay and the elements id offset positions and get properties and get versions and then all set of the event functionalities or you get methods or control events and overlay have that those things options and then i will show you detail this one the projections as a there are projection things here transformation functions you have all things here transformation functions from the import this transformation function that's i have it in here the import functionalities you see the what i need i already imported here so that means you have the you have you have to understand the basic understanding the the javascript libraries how it works and then you can start the implementation of the of the your functionality or features just concentrate to 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 do the theoretical ideas how the the api design how api call and then you can go to even though some examples from here and then you start the developments so okay then we have like this this way we have like this way so we have some ideas you need to understand the javascript libraries and this is our project structure that i will show you later how it is done when i did the when you finish the your projects new 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 ng new the your project names if you see the same structure like you have the node node modules that means this is the node modules containing the all the all the your dependencies all the your javascript dependencies to put there so even though the dependencies from the of low open layers input there i will show you the detailed structure of this and you have the git if you have the git connections automatically angular types your project and build it and get connected with that one i will show you i will give it to you this all the source code in my in my github and there's exactly the same name you be subgroup the same name you can look for the for the for the googles to get the git resources and the src folder the src folder is the main folder the source folder is containing all the components services classes modules and interfaces all things and the, all the additional all the, the configurations of files your foxy json files angular json package json and package the log json all things i will discuss that uh, the development just i will show you how the project structure look like that and this is the project structure when i basically i try to study i try to use the the visual studio code id ide you can have a web terms web, web tom or other ide for the for your developments but it is the visual studio code is a good ide you can use it as like what i did here so this is the projects that's when i did the projects i just simply import the projects into my into my ide and then it's look like that one so project structure so i will i should i i would like to say here thank you and just and we can continue just subscribe the channels and put your ideas and concept and comments into the channels i will try we will try our best to to give you to feedback let's have a start the the the, the developments so that means this is the our project structure that i already run it that i show already show you this is the projects that i am running the port number 0044006 and the, all the functionalities that i i try to do implement with you 
how the, the, you can start, how can you communicate, how can you implement those components, the features, and then you can you can understand this one. So let's let's have a start to how can you import the projects. You create the projects, Angular CLI, and then after the CLI creations, you just uh, you just import the project into the ID. Just you can go to files when you start the your Visual Studio Code. You have recent projects, and you can pull the the folders and go to the folders where your your project is located. So just like simply select it, and then I already did it, and it's automatically import the project into the your your IDE. And this is when you import the IDE, you got the IDE as the structure like that way. So that's I said in the presentation. You have a node and node modules, and then uh, E2E, and then application source, and then application modules. And let's have a start to ETE components. What you have it in here? The basically, this is the four classes. But I already discussed many things. This this part into the in my last screencast, like uh, number two when i did the development with the leaflets uh, libraries so you see that again i see this all the all the the dependencies libraries that you need in the projects is automatically when you install the libraries it's automatically come to here the all the libraries that you have it either here open layer libraries leaflet libraries that's when you need depending which library you need to need to your projects the all things is here maybe you need less libraries but for my case uh, I put it everything that I need to the to implement these projects, and then all the NPN projects, and then you have it open layer project that I said open layer. You see the open layer main libraries, and then just I install. You see the, all the control and projection dependencies, control functionalities. That's all the that I said. This is the rotations and Angular. It's all the JavaScript functions, JavaScript files is here. So. You see the JavaScript functions exactly what what they are written in the in the in the in the open layers. So you can even though you can control those things you know with the programmatically that's but I will I doesn't touch this one I just use it these projections so you see the dependencies it's all the dependencies all the that's what you have to in here all the project dependencies JavaScript like this. So you get the idea. So all the dependencies injected when you try to install the 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 install the the necessary dependencies and it come to the come to the uh, node modules uh, directories. So we got the ideas. What I mean, uh, the installations, all things is there. So go we'll get the idea. This is the projects and this SSC folders and this is when you did the uh, the projects. It's automatically created this this those those files automatically without this this part of the applications so it created the root directory application root directory those who do had no experience about the the angular and the typescript just they can google it and you can understand what i mean uh, this is the the when you did the projects and you automatically create this directory so you have a application dot component this is it, it, it that is there is something here but in the when you are did the very beginning stage, it's empty layers. I already did the additional functionalities, the complete applications, and then we have more things. But it's it is coming by default as the application that component HTML file, then the CSS file that by default there's nothing there. And then you have the application components automatically default. And I already added my functionalities here, but I will show you. And that's the application modules, the most important modules. That's when I, you did the components and services automatically inject the the CLI automatically inject the modules into here. So this is the introductions for this uh, the project structure. And then you have the most important one. Uh, this Angular JSON files. This all the configuration files. What dependency you try to use about your project specification, project configuration, and about your project building issues. That's it. And this is the JSON files that I am running. This the configuration files. You see the all the dependencies that I am using here. So you see that I am using the OpenLayer 5.3.3, and you can use the latest one. Just replace the version number, and it's automatically updated. What you need 6.1, 6.1. .1 three what doesn't matter 